Hello, welcome back to the channel. And in the UK, energy prices at the beginning of October just went up again. So there is a bit of fluctuation in the energy market at the moment. Um, and you may have therefore be considering getting solar panels. And you want to do a calculation to see how quick you can get your payback on those solar panels if you're considering them as some form of investment or you're just trying to work out how much they will save you per year or make you per year. So if that's going for your head at the moment, you probably want to hit the subscribe button to this channel because you'll be able to see what my experience of living with a solar panel and battery system has been and also my progression to get a heat pump, which will be starting next week, and have an electric car and also I'll explain some of the science behind it. Okay, so let's say you are considering getting solar panels and you're trying to calculate it. So I've done a video in the past where I went into quite a bit of detail looking at things like inflation, what happens if you put it in money into another investment. But that also takes a bit, is quite complicated and takes a bit of time. What happens if you are just seeing an advert, say on social media, and it's saying it's offering a system of solar panels, possibly a battery for so much money, and you're wondering, is it worthwhile? Um, how to do a really quick calculation in probably less than 20 seconds to see if it's worth it for you. So let's just assume that you just want solar panels, you're not considering a battery. Also, let's assume that you're not taking advantage of any um, cheap overnight rates that having a battery might um, allow you to access or you have an electric vehicle and you can charge it or again get cheap overnight rates. Let's just say you're on a standard uh, tariff and you're thinking about getting your solar panels um, and you haven't got a battery. So just looking around at some adverts actually on Facebook, that's what made me think of this, make this video, they are quite often offering, you can often find packages of a certain number of solar panels, normally about 10 or 12, with a inverter and all the fitting uh, for about four and a half thousand pounds. So is it worth it? So the worst case scenario is whatever energy you generate you export back to the grid and you get paid for with a SEG tariff. That's the worst case scenario you could have. So how much money could you make from that? So there's one assumption I'm making in this video, and that is that the average energy output from a 400 watt solar panel over a year is 350 um, watt hours. I've just Googled that and that's what the value comes up with. If you're in the far north of Scotland where you get shorter days and it's generally worse weather, that number might be a bit lower, but you can compensate that for having a bigger panel. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that's where that 350 comes from. So all you have to do to do this calculation to see what the worst case scenario for your yearly payback would be is to take 350 times it by how many panels you can fit on your roof. So let's assume 12. So I'm just doing 350 times 12 times by the seg rate that you think you can get. Um, I'm going to take the Octopus seg rate of 15p, which if you're one of their customers, and use my um, referral code if you want to get £50 if you're thinking of switching energy suppliers, they've got a 15p seg rate. So that means if I had 12 panels, I would pay back uh, £630 a year. That's how much I would get from Octopus in payment. So if I take my 4500 and divide it by 330 it comes out at about... Um, Seven, just over seven years to pay back. Again, I'm saying that doesn't include inflation or any other investments and stuff like that. Um, we can also, it's assuming that you'll get 15p per kilowatt hour for the rest of the next seven years. Um, but since we don't have any more information on that, that's the only assumption we can make. Um, if we look at the best case scenario, and that assumes that you use all the energy you generate you'll be high uses of, of energy generation and you'd have to be using it all year round. But again, we take that 350, we times it by how many panels, so again we'll use 12, and this time we just times it by the price cap, which is what you're likely to be paying, which would be about 23p at the moment. So in that case we pay back a year of um, £966. And if we divide 
4,500 by 966, it gives you a payback period of just over four and a half years. So that's how quick it is to just do a back of the envelope, how quickly could you pay back your solar panels um, if you made the investment. Obviously, if you have a battery, that will add to the cost and you could just do the same calculations or you can make an assumption of how much energy you're going to store, how much energy you're going to use. But you can say that if you had 12 panels and you are going exporting some and you were using the rest, you're going to be paying back between 630 and 966 pounds a year. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, as I say, please hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my other videos and I'll see you in another video very soon.